Hello lovely people. Today's Advent calendar message is to create a DIY gift for someone special. I decided that the someone special is myself. Both because loving oneself is important and because I in particular am special. I can call myself that. And I made a video to tell you whether you can too. It's in the card above. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and today I'm going to be taking you through making three ultra Christmassy DIY hair pieces and the fun hairstyles that you can do with them. I was inspired to make this video both because I went to see last Christmas and spent the entire film staring at the lead character's festive headbands and because I've been spending a lot of time browsing Skillshare recently to get inspiration for crafting and to learn some new skills. For those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community targeted at creatives, whether on the amateur or professional level. The tutorial videos on the site, known as classes, cover a wide range of skills, but also a whole spectrum of abilities. We're talking business, fine art, graphic design, the list goes on and on. I've personally found the creative writing course particularly interesting as they cover just so many essential skills that are going to help strengthen the story as well as any characters within them and I am very much into writing my fiction. Uh, it's such as their Storytelling 101 was really great and the Writing Authentic Fiction classes, those were really good too. And they have closed captions on all of their Skillshare Originals and Staff Picks videos. We're blessed. And videos on flower crowns, which obviously helped me a lot today. As a member of the Skillshare community, you also have the chance to give and receive feedback on projects through the creators community, which can be a really huge help to anyone who's learning a new skill or improving on an old one. With premium membership comes the benefit of unlimited access to all courses on their website, meaning you can find the course and the community that work best for you, whatever it is you love to do. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even your career, you should join the 7 million plus people currently using Skillshare to further improve their skills. Skillshare is giving away a free two months unlimited access trial to any of my subscribers who click the link in the description box. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. It is genuinely worth it. Which you'll see as I make my very own Christmas flower crown. Technically has no flowers, it's just a Christmas crown. I just wanted a crown. My childhood home had a huge fireplace. The ceiling in my living room was probably 14 feet high and in the middle of the room was a fireplace wide enough for six people to warm themselves around. Above the fireplace was an antique cast iron double wall light in which we put candles and let stand alone as mantelpiece decoration. But in winter every year with the trimmings from the Christmas tree, my parents would let me create elaborate decorative foliage sculptures with wire and greenery above the mantel and it was one of my favourite parts of Christmas decorating. But since they moved house, I haven't had the chance to flex my wire and fir tree muscles, so I am very excited to be making this now. I measured my head and snipped some wire to length, later realising I should have made it twice as long. I lapped each cutting halfway over the next and tied a knot with the wire, leaving a little extra at the two ends so they could be tied together. my chopped up fake mistletoe, FYI, real mistletoe is poisonous so do bear that in mind if you're working around small animals, which I tied on using some lovely gold wire with cream beads that I picked up at Hobbycraft. I'm going to leave a link in the description along with some other crafting supplies that I use in the video. Since the wire is so thin, this part was really quite tricky, but I genuinely had the best time playing with wire, so I mean, I was having a great time. Finally, once I'd woven mistletoe in all the way around the crown, I considered putting these red holly berries on it, but then Coco Chanel reined me back in. Take off the last thing you put on. So we skipped those, and I would say it was a success. I am really pleased with this little crown. It's the first flower crown adjacent thing I've ever made, but I think it turned out quite well. So thanks to Skillshare for the crown tutorial.
piece, I really wanted to build upon one of my favorite winter hairstyles, the vintage roll. I don't tend to wear my hair up much during the warmer months, but I think it's lovely during the festive season. It's probably a little strange, as that's when your neck gets cold. I love fancy hair slides, but I really don't get enough wear out of them, so having one that only lasts a few days seems like a great and sustainable answer. I had a couple of plain slides lying around, again, I will link similar in the description, so I just wanted to jazz them up for the season. And yes, that does mean using a lot of wire again, because wire is my friend. Remember to keep that wire tight as you twist it around. I once made a meter long star out of bamboo cane, decorated with tree trimmings to hang above the fireplace, and it was essentially a Christmas wreath in the shape of a huge star. I didn't quite tie it tightly enough to its moorings and it fell off the wall, almost smacking me on the head. I mean, I say that, it probably did smack me on the head. I have memory loss. Genuinely, anything could have happened. To get this look, first follow the hair tutorial I've linked in the card above, and then simply slide your grip into place. Voila, beautiful. And finally, this look is deceptively simple and really quite cute. It uses just your average everyday hair slides or curvy grips for you Americans. I'm a fan of the matte kind. Grab two clips, some fake holly and a bit of bush. Clip a long length of wire and tie the two grips together. You're going to be attaching things to the top half of the grips, but having two together obviously makes them much sturdier. Once you've finished, wrap around the grip. Use some pretty ribbon to finish off the end. It's important to make sure you leave the curved edge of the grips free at the back so that you can just slide into a third grip, which will be the one that actually attaches the piece to your hair. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Quite a few of you asked for crafty, DIY and hair related things when I posted about Vlogmas a few weeks ago, so I really hope you like what I have made. Which one's your favourite? The Christmas crown, the holly slide or the berry grip? Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, click the like button and make sure that you try Skillshare using my link in the description. I'll see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Mwah. Do you mean spin slowly so I don't vomit? Yes. <laughs> that's fair, because that's probably going to happen really soon. And then we stop filming this video. Focus on Jessica. Oh no, it's lost the face. There we go.